Would you state your name and give us your address for the record, please? My name is Paul James Meinhardt III. So the very first thing that you became aware of that gave you some concern that something might be wrong was those alarms going off the evening of April 20th, 2010. Correct. Um, but I, generally the sequence of events, as best you can recall, are uh, you're in the engine room, you hear an initial alarm, you hear an announcement from the bridge. Uh, about the same time, there are multiple alarms that go off. The engine control room goes dark, and then there's an explosion. Is that right? Yes. Was this a, a, a short duration of time frame that the, these events occurred? To my recollection, it was a very short time frame in the span of, I would say, a minute to two minutes max. And you're talking, when you say a minute to two minutes max, you're talking about from the very first time you hear an alarm to the end of the second explosion, is that right? Yes. Okay. And in between these events that occurred that you described, you're talking about seconds, is that right? Yes. Okay. Now, um, in terms of the first alarm that goes off, um, you hear a, an initial alarm indicating the presence of gas someplace, right? Yes. And you see that? You said it was a blue light on the panel? Yes. Okay. And immediately, uh, or within a few seconds, um, there was an announcement from the bridge. Is that right? Yes. And as you understood that announcement, the bridge was directing the Damon Bankston to move away so that it wasn't endangered by whatever events were going on in the well control situation. Is that true? Yes. Okay. You, you described, and we won't go back through it again, other than to say that you acted, I think, uh, very admirably in caring for your uh, co-workers. But you finally make your way to the bridge, um, and at that point, um, fair to say that Captain Kushta is in charge and trying to assess the situation, true? From my observation of him from the time I got there, he was in charge and doing very well. Who was in control on the bridge? At that time, the captain was going around taking assessment and he was in control. How was his demeanor? From the time that I was on the bridge, from what I could see, the captain was, was very calm and direct from what I observed. So he wasn't acting chaotic or Not from out of what control. I saw and not in my opinion. Right. He seemed to be handling the situation. He was. Right. And directing people. Yes.